If you have been diagnosed with a spinal cancer, doctor may order a procedure called angiography. This imaging test, also called an angiogram, shows the vascular elements of the spine. It means arteries and smaller blood vessels in sharp detail. A spinal angiogram can help doctor to locate the spine tumor, shows the blood vessels feeding the tumor, and can help doctor prepare a separate model of a tumor located near many blood vessels, as well as show the location of normal vessels in the location. But what is angiography and spinal angiography? Angiography. Angiography is a procedure used to make pictures of blood vessels, including those of the head, kidneys, heart, arms, legs, or lungs. A dye contrast medium is injected into the artery so that the blood vessels can be seen. Angiography may be done to see how the blood flows through the blood vessels. It can help plan treatment, including embolization or chemoembolization. And how about what is Spinal angiography. Spinal angiography can be diagnosed and interventional. It can be used to understand the current states of your spinal tumor and provide minimally invasive treatment to facilitate the removal of the tumor. During spinal angiography, a specialist doctor called a neural angiographer uses extra technology to take extremely detailed 3D image of the blood vessels, arteries, and veins around spinal cord. If spine tumor is surrounded by many blood vessels, distance will help a doctor for the safe course of treatment that prevents excessive blood loss during surgical removal of the tumor. Prior to the angiogram, doctor will give specific instructions on how to prepare for the procedure such as when you should stop eating and drinking, as well as discuss the potential risks and the benefits. This is always a small risk of complications such as bleeding of stroke, but in skilled hands, the benefits far outweigh the risk. A spinal angiogram is a minimally invasive procedure typically performed in um, an outpatient setting that is, you will go home uh, at the same time as the test um, you conducted. Did you know why your doctor recommended spinal angiography? Doctor may order a spinal angiogram to learn more about your spinal tumor. In cases of spinal cancer, angiography is often used to help your surgeon understand if your spinal tumor is surrounded by a lot of vascular structure such as veins, arteries, and blood vessels. Knowing the extent of these vascular elements around your spinal tumor will help your surgeon prevent any complications during surgery, namely significant blood loss. Based on the results of the angiogram, your surgeon can develop a plan to safely remove your spinal tumor. Sometimes during the angiogram, the neuroradiologist can include some of the big tumor vessels to reduce bleeding during the surgery. This is usually discussed with you before proceeding, but is common in certain types of tumors such as those that uh, travel from the kidney to the spine. Okay, what do you expect during a spinal angiogram? Spinal angiography is typically performed under live sedation. Uh, some people may require general anesthesia, often due to a separate medical condition. Before the procedure begins, you will receive pain medication through an intravenous line. Spinal angiography uses a catheter, a thin, bendable tube to deliver contrast medium or dye into your body. This dye allows your doctor to see the blood vessels, arteries, and veins uh, during the procedure. The catheter is inserted into an artery in your leg through a small incision and the incision area will be numb so you won't feel any pain. The neuroangiographer uses an X-ray technology to guide the catheter to the spinal blood vessels. Once the catheter reaches the spinal area, the dye is injected, which eliminates the blood vessels, arteries, and veins. 
You may feel a warming sensation as the dye enters your body. Once the dye highlights the vascular structures, the neuroangiographer um, will capture multiple images from different angles. Your neuroangiographer will watch the image appear on the screen as the procedure is performed. Depending on how much your spine is observed, your angiogram may take one hour to several hours long. Once the angiogram is uh, finished, your doctor will remove the catheter and close the artery by putting pressure on the incision site manually with his or her hands or using a small plug. You won't be able to go home immediately following the spine angiogram as you will need to lie flat for a few hours of observations. Make sure uh, to tell your medical team if you notice any pains, bleedings, or swelling at the catheter site before the call. Okay, let's see a video of spinous angiography that performed by Dr. Michael Horowitz. This video is taken from Dr. Michael Horowitz's web. Okay. Here, we see a catheter called a Michelson catheter. This will be inserted through the patient's right femoral artery into the standing aorta and the tip of the catheter. The black portion will be used to select and inject different blood vessels supplying the spinal cord. This is a corbal catheter, another type of catheter used for spinal angiography. You can see it from end to end and it also can be used to perform injections into the individual spinal arteries to evaluate spinal cord. And uh, the shrink attached to the end of the catheter and use the shrink, doctor can inject contrast which then comes out the tip of the catheter. This contrast goes into the blood vessels and the contrast is imaged. The catheter tip is now inserted into a sheet which sits in the right common femoral artery. All work is done through this sheet. The catheter is advanced and now use x-rays to guide doctor. Here the catheter is being advanced in the aorta and we can see the vertebral bodies and the ribs. The catheter will be gradually positioned in the aorta and doctor begin to place the tip of the catheter into individual spinal radicular arteries. We can see the catheter entering different spinal radicular arteries, but doctor wants to start at a particular level. A total of 25 to 30 individual vessels will be studied here. And we can see now a uh, dye being inserted into a spinal radical artery. Now a formal run will be done to document the image. And this will uh, be saved for later review. Okay, here the cobra catheter shown previously is being advanced. It simply has a different shape in some patients. One catheter is used and others. Another is used or sometimes a combination of the two depending on the anatomy. The catheter has been advanced, is placed into a radical artery of, uh, of the patient and not one also since the anterior spinal artery being supplied of these vessels to the spinal cord. An injection um, is carried out and the image is saved for the later review. So here the catheter is being manipulated and placed into another vessel. This manipulation and injection will be carried out 25 to 30 times in each individual vessel of interest which until the study complete and in the entire study takes uh, approximately 30 minutes okay let's go to the benefits and risks of spinal angiography okay, spinal angiography is safe and effective procedure and uh, complication is rarely occur 
The primary utilities of spinal angiography is it provides extremely sharp and detailed image of the blood vessels, arteries, and veins in your spine. This allows your doctor to create a safe surgical plan that reduces unnecessary bleeding and other complications. Other spinal angiography benefits include it's a minimally invasive procedure as it is typically performed in an outpatient clinic that you may go home at the same day as your test. As many uh, with any medical procedure, uh, spinal angiography has risks. Complications are rare, but it may include an allergic reaction to the dye, catheter-related problems, that stroke caused by uh, blood clots around the catheter tip or catheter-related vessel wall injury and also delayed bleeding at the catheter insertion site after the procedure. Um, while the risk of this complication is low and is very rare, it's important to have a discussion with your doctor to cover all the benefits and risks that may apply spe uh, specifically uh, to you. So, if you face with spinal cancer, your treatment plan should be as comprehensive and safe as possible. A spinal angiogram provides your surgeon a unique understanding of your spinal tumor by eliminating the key blood vessels, arteries, and veins surrounding it. With that knowledge, your doctor can develop a treatment plan that minimizes complications and gives you the best chance for a healthy recovery.